All right, we should be live. All right, so welcome back to another one of these uh, where I mix a song live on YouTube. Have not done this in a long time, so uh, glad to finally be doing this. And I've got a song from K Penny here that we'll be mixing. And I'm going to be using UA Spark plugins because uh, I haven't used UA plugins before. Uh, but. Uh, someone confirm that you can hear me i'm using a little bit different setup than what i normally use jeffrey from north texas what's up yeah if you can just might confirm that you can hear me and that i'm coming through and then we'll make sure that we got audio as well from studio one While we're waiting on that, I'm going to go ahead and switch over uh, to Studio One. And we'll have a look at the session here. I've already done gain staging. Just go ahead and get that out of the way. And here's a look at the full session. All right. Thanks, K Penny. Let me turn. Let's see. Feedback might be coming from the monitors being up as well. Yeah, it's probably the monitors I'm feeling. Let me turn down. All right, how's that? Is it still uh, echoing? Okay, it might just been the gain on the mic too. All right, cool. All right. All right, so we'll go ahead and play the track, and y'all let me know if you can hear the track as well. Okay, let's see. All right, so let me try to change something in OBS here and see if we can get the track to come through. Getting closer, pretending that nobody here knows us. Don't I feel like you and me just in a sea of motion. Pulling when I push it back, you caution that come forward. Right, you're the, I'm low. Is the track coming now? Me, babe, I throw you caught it, babe. I'm going off the page. Follow me home and stay. Am I ahead of myself? I know how we can tell I'm twirling, I'm working on you I don't do this better Oh, love OBS is always tricky for me to get going and I haven't been in it in a while. All right, so I'm going to play it back. We'll play it all the way through now that everybody uh, can hear it, and then we'll get started. 
voice is echoing again. All right, I'm going to try to remember to cut them. I don't know if it's coming out of my monitors back into the mic or if it's just a routing thing in LBS. The setup I'm using right now is the Presonus Revelator IO24, which I thought would be easier to work with OBS, but I think it's just going to be a trial and error thing until I get everything figured out. And, of course, it's hard for me to hear what y'all are hearing on the other end to know if I do have it right. Uh, but am, am I echoing now? I've got the monitors turned down. That might be what it is at this point. Y'all let me know if I'm still echoing now, but I'm going to go ahead and, and play the track all the way through. Oh, no. Just in a sea of motion Pulling when I push it back You cushion that come forward I'm low, you hold me, babe I throw, you caught it, babe I'm going off the page Follow me home and stay Am I ahead of myself? I know how we can tell I'm twirling, I'm working on you I'll do this better Oh, love going for before you start so i'm not just gonna jump in and start turning knobs and tweaking stuff so just want to get a picture in my mind of what i'm going for definitely going for like a pop sound here where we're going to you know with these vocals i want to make them bright and airy so we're going to be adding some high end to that i've already got let's see a drum bus already created so we can do some parallel compression here and before we get into that, let's, let's back up and talk about the plugins we'll be using. So these these UA Spark plugins, uh, for anyone who's been living under a rock the last week, uh, Universal Audio has announced that they're going native with some of their plugins at this point. And it's a bundle of 10 plugins, and it's got, let's see, we've got three different 1176s, API bus compressor, API channel strip, Galaxy tape echo, three LA-2A compressors, Lexicon digital reverb, a Neve channel strip, a plate reverb, and the Studer tape machine. So those are the plugins that come in the Spark bundle. You also get a virtual instrument synth and you get a grand piano as well. This bundle is $20 a month or $149 for a year, and you get a 14-day free trial. So right now, I'm on the free trial. A little disappointed in the way that 
you UA, kind of put, put the, the site together because together you, you don't even see the price until you click into your uh, free trial. So if I didn't read other articles and see that it was 19 a month, you wouldn't even know. Like nowhere on the site does it say 19 a month. But we've got, so that's what we'll be using is these uh, Spark plugins. And this will be my first time using uh, UA plugins. So definitely going to see what all the hype is about. Uh, Personally, I've always felt that I'm sure they're good, but are they good enough for me to abandon my Waves or SoftTube or any other plugin that makes the same thing that this is? It, it's, you know, more 1176s and LA2As that everyone emulates. All right, so but back to the track here. So, yes, we're going to add some air to the vocals. Uh, I'm going to add some low end to these drums as well, get them to punch through. I'm going to try to stick to the UA plugins as much as I can. I uh, don't have things in this bundle like a DS or a transient designer, uh, some other general things that I would normally use when mixing, but we'll see how far we can get uh, with them and, you know, see if we can justify $20 a month uh, for this bundle. All right, so I'm going to, as I normally do, I'm going to start with, but first let's set up the mix bus. I'm not going to do any processing on it right now, but let's just go ahead and get the mix bus set up and then I'll start tweaking that later. So with that, I'm going to use a uh, API bus compressor. Personally, I'm an SSL person when it comes to bus compressors. Uh, but you know, we'll see what this API does and we'll grab that Studer, Studer tape machine here and we'll bypass this for now. I'll, I'll go ahead and leave the tape machine in. All right, so during my mixing process, I start with drums and then I go on to music and then I do vocals last. So uh, let's go ahead and start with these drums. All right, so, so for the drums, I'm going to see how much I can get away with using this uh, API channel strip here. One thing I'm immediately finding a little annoying with this is that I can't, for the gain, I can't click the number and have the gain move there. I physically have to click it and turn it. And I can't, I can't remember if the waves works like that where I can click on the number itself. Well, that's odd. So the frequency, I can click on the number and move that. But the gain, you have to click and turn it. All right. Now we're going to add some body to the snare.
All right, I'm, I'm happy, happy with that. that. I generally <laughs> like using the 560 on snare. I used to have the hardware, but I traded it. What did I trade it in for? I traded in to get something. I think the Manly Elop, if I remember. Uh, good with that. Let's move. Actually, going to hop past that a little bit, too. I think we've got another snare here. All right, let's beef up this clap. I think I'm gonna go back to the 560 here. I'm good with that. I just added some body there to the clap. Uh, what is next? All right, got some sound like a hi hat roll here. We'll stick again with the UPI, uh, API and add a little high end. We'll use 550 here. Let's see. Normally grab some about 5k and turn that up. That's good there. So I'm liking the ability to take this line level and bring this up as well as the fader and just kind of mix in the channel strip versus grabbing the fader on the channel in Studio One here. And let's see what this track is. All right, some more hi hats. We're going to do the same thing here. So just add some. Add a high shelf at about 5K. Just give it a little presence here. All right, so I didn't realize I got to turn this high pass filter on. So let's see, kick snare. I think we use some here. Let's turn those on. Didn't use one there. Yes. All right, now I'm going to take this. Let's see, that hi hat roll. I think it's this track. We're just going to pan that to the left a little bit.
All right. right. Now, let's get some parallel compression here on the drums. I'm going to grab one of these 1176s. Uh, I think the Rev A is the black one. Let's see. Wrong. It's the blue one. Actually, let's grab this AE one. This is one I'm not familiar familiar with. It's the black and blue one. I uh, don't see many of these clone really. You either see the black or uh, the blue. Let's see if we can get some parallel compression. Do we have? Okay, we do have. Yeah, we've got a mix knob on here. Okay. All right, do some parallel compression here. HR is if anyone knows what that is, uh, let me know. But we've got a mix. I really want a. I really wish I had a high, high pass filter here or side chain on this. And speaking of side chain, I just realized this does not have a side chain input for Studio One. So that sucks. Uh, I don't know why UA doesn't have the option for side chain on here. But yeah, I definitely would like to put a side chain on here. Uh, let's blend this in some. Kind of doing what I wanted for the parallel compression. Not in love with it, but I'll keep it for now. It's not. It's adding a little bit of life, but it's not adding as much punch I feel that I would normally get when using uh, parallel compression. But if I'm trying to stick to these UA Spark plugins, yeah, I definitely don't think the the LA2A is going to give me what I want just because of its of how slow it is. But uh, maybe the API channel strip the limiter on there but i think we'll we'll stick with this uh for right now let's see what the, what's next here i think this is the base yeah I actually like how the bass is sitting. I, I really don't feel like I need to do anything to it, but I'm going to take this Neve channel strip and add just a little, a little uh, low end to it. We add a little low shelf here. Let's see. See, another thing I'd say I don't like about uh, these UA plugins right now is that they're not resizable. And just make you know, some of this a little hard to read. You'll go for a 110 uh, low shelf.
All right, I really like that. That low shelf really helped out a lot. And then just using the mic pre here, just turn up the line level some just to give it some more gain. And then we just back down on the output here a little to help it sit back in the mix. Oh, let's see what we've got next. Okay, some strings. Let's go ahead and loop that. All right, so I like to add saturation to strings, and I'm thinking I want to try to do that with the Neve channel strip. First, uh, this is going to be our first chance to use some reverb here, so let's grab that lexicon reverb and add that to the strings here. I might be able to get the saturation I want out of the Studer too. All right, let's, let's get this reverb dialed in. Yeah, you're going to take, take just a little second on this because these are some controls I've never seen on a reverb before. Rear out, so it kind of sounds like some surround sound stuff to me. Sys noise, I guess that's system noise, I-M-M-E-D. Yeah, we're going to stick with these at the top, which is obviously the type. Yeah, I don't know what these other controls are here. Decay, okay, yeah, we know that. Free delay. All right, let's see if we, we can get, get this to where I like it. it. While I'm doing this, anybody got any questions, uh, feel free to put it in the chat. Yeah, I feel like I don't see the obvious setting for a reverb, which is the uh, the decay time. I see treble decay. I don't know if that's the overall decay for it. We've got where did all of those uh what's in here? Pitch input. Hey, this is a little confusing. I'm just gonna to get a longer. Yeah, I don't see where I can just increase the decay. This is treble decay, not overall decay or just reverb time. I guess, I guess this, this is it, 2.8 seconds, but how do I modify this? Is it down here? Okay, okay so yeah, to, to get the decay I want, I'm just going to increase the send into the reverb.
Yeah, the input and output game works too. I'm gonna bring in the vocals for a second, just hear how those strings are sitting with the vocals. All right, I'm good with that. Let's see, we've got here. All right, as long as that's sitting in the mix, I'm fine with that. Like, everything doesn't need EQ and compression, so I'm going to leave that how it is, but I am going to add some reverb to that. So I'm going to take the same uh, reverb send there and put it on those two tracks. I'm going to turn up the send on those. All right, let's hear it in the track. I'm good with that. We may adjust it once we bring uh, the vocals back in. Uh, let's take a listen to this next track. All right, definitely want to put some saturation on that. I'm going to, let's try that Neve channel strip. And I'm going to bring over that, uh, we're going to use that reverb send as well to put some reverb on that. I probably don't want it that high though. Let's bring that down. All right, where's that Neve? All right, so I'm going to use the mic pre-section here, and we'll see what kind of saturation we can get. Let's uh, hear that in the track. Alright, I'm happy with the saturation I'm getting out of this uh, 
Neve channel strip. So far, I like this. I got to check out the high end. I'm going to go to it when we get to the vocals and and hear how it sounds on that. Normally, for a Neve 1073 style EQ, uh, right now I'm loving the kit. Uh, kit BBN105. Right now, it's my favorite Neve channel strip. And I like the Waves uh, Shep 73 as well. So I'll have to compare these, compare this uh, to that. But uh, so far, really liking this Neve. Uh, channel strip. I'll, I'll see what this next track is. All right, so we're going to beef this up too, and I think I'm going to go right back to that Neve channel strip, and I'm going to hit this with some more EQ as well as get some gain on the mic pre to give us some saturation. reverb to this as well i really would like to be able to do like a modulation effect on this um but i guess we're going to stick to these ua plugins for right now uh where's that we'll just pull over that reverb and bring that send down some all right let's listen to this in the mix One more track uh, before we get to the vocals, and I think it's that high that high pitch lead I'm hearing. Yeah, so we're gonna add some reverb to this as well. Probably add a little uh, high mids to it to give it some presence, and then after that, I'm gonna start to dial in my bus compression. That's when I normally start dialing my my bus compression once I've got the drums and the music together and then from there i'll mix into the bus compressor uh so let's get this let's get this uh lead synth here tightened up
all right, I'm happy with that. This Neve channel strip is coming in clutch right now. Uh, let's dial in some bus compression. So let's, okay, we'll turn on now uh, the API 500 and let's see. I'll just play this back while I'm dialing it in. Let's go ahead and take it back from the top. Definitely hearing the compression, and I don't want to hear uh, the bus compression that much. Just looking for a little bit of glue, so I'm only trying to do like 2 to 3 dB compression here. Generally with API compressors, I generally like old versus new. So new is speed forward, old is speed back. Uh, basically, you can think it's new school versus old school. Uh, new to me is more aggressive, which is something I'd go for if I use this on drums. Gosh, I should use this on drum bus. Um, might switch that out, but uh, old I prefer is on the bus compressor. Or old is more natural sounding to me and just smoother. I'm gonna tweak this threshold just a little bit more. I'll probably bring this attack on up to 30 milliseconds, but yeah, I'm just trying to get a couple dB of compression here, and I don't want to hear. Uh, the compression when I bring it in and out. Just hear a little bit of glue happening. Danny said, Penny's Beats be cold. Y'all yeah, gonna have her uh, Instagram, TikTok, all that contact information in the description of this once I complete it. Uh, so y'all can definitely uh, check her out and follow her. Okay, I'm good with that. So I think I'm about to put it, put in the vocals, and that's going to be loud, of course. So that's going to drive the compression a little bit too. So I don't want to dial it in to do too much compression right now. Just a uh, just a little bit. All right, uh, let's go ahead and uh, let's get to where. Oh, let me see what this studer is doing, and uh, let's mess around with some settings on this.
All right, right. Suter's adding a little bit of color here. I'll admit I'm not the hugest fan of tape plugins or tape machines. And I've just always felt that tape machines are old school and a lot of the music I work on isn't old school, so why would I want to tape? But I've grown to appreciate them a little more over the years. I usually like the uh, Waves J70, J37. Uh, I like that one a lot. And a newer one, Baby Audio Tape, I really like a lot on on a mix bus. It's a different, it's pretty much a different approach to a tape machine. It's not a typical tape machine like this. You've got some interesting uh, features on there. All right, we'll leave that like it is for now. I think I checked my lows and we're good. I'm trying to stay within like uh, no more than like negative three dB here on the level. I guess I should put a level meter up here to watch it a little closer. All right. All right, so let's get to working on these vocals. We'll start with this hook that comes in first. Oh, no. So we're going to go to the Neve channel strip here and start there. Um, I hear a little bit of low mids. I'm going to pull out and we're going to add some high end with the high shelf here, which uh, with the 1073 EQ is a 12K high shelf uh, fixed. And I might add a little bit. I don't really think we need any presence in it, really. Now, I might do that on this second one. Uh, just to switch up. I'm not going to, uh, I don't copy the same exact settings over to the next track. I do want to have some, some differences there. So I might add some presence in the second one and I'm going to sit it back some too and keep this first one it is obviously uh, the lead one here. All right. So let's uh, do some EQing here. plate reverb on here and then we'll get some compression going let's see yeah i don't know the difference between all of these la two a's silver gray nah let's go silver i guess all right let's get this dialed in oh no Default settings work really good uh, for that. We'll leave that there. I think I said we're about to put in the plate reverb. Uh, let's see. Lead verb. Okay. Let's see what we got here. First time looking at this. Uh, balance, bass, treble. What is this? 
Is this? Oh, okay. Okay, we can click in it. We can, okay. Okay, so that's what I was looking for on the digital reverb was the reverb time. Okay, low cut. Okay, free delay. Can we get in between? Yeah, all right. Okay, so I'm going to dial in this reverb uh, while I'm doing this. If you have any questions, uh, just drop it in the chat. with that and with that compression it's really as it should be a la2a should be smooth opto compressor should be smooth and this is definitely smooth where i'm not hearing compression uh when she's getting loud here and it's just really leveling the vocals so uh so far this what do we use a silver one i think good sounding la2a here to me uh this reverb it's sounding nice to me so far i like this balance control and i'm tempted to automate this balance to sweep left and right uh throughout the song i might do that just so i can see some automation in studio one here um let's bring in this other track oh. good with that so what we did on the eq on this one rolled off some low end at 160 hertz and cut a little bit of low mids at 220 and then added some presence at 3.2k um might need to add a little high end too let's listen to it Yeah, that high shelf is helping a lot. So we'll leave that. We'll leave that in. Uh, for this one, let's switch it up and go with that. We use the silver. Let's do gray this time. Uh, I just want to see this compared to. I mean, <laughs> damn near looks the same, in just a different color. Yeah, that's, I don't know the difference. If, if anyone knows the difference between these, uh, let me let me know because it's both the LA two A to me. All right, let's check this one out. So just about the default settings already, I can tell that this one is more aggressive. I don't know, maybe it's got a quicker attack uh, than the other one. That's what it seems. That's what it seems like right now.
Yeah, I think this gray one has a quicker attack. It definitely uh, seems to be more more aggressive. All right, let's we got next move to these. Let's take a listen to these lead vocals. Surprise. Uh, I'm really liking how this is working out on these vocals. All right, we're going to high pass. What's that? Gosh, this is kind of hard to see. 80 hertz. I think I'm not liking this when I'm, I'm turning this. I'm not able to see you know, the value as I turn it. With the Waves one, with the BBN 105, when I turn this, I can see it. I guess UA wants you to do it by ear, which is fine. A uh, little Studio One tip. If you look here in the upper left corner, uh, when you turn, you can see the value there, which is really nice that the plug-in doesn't show it for you. All right. Uh, let's dial this in. Compression on here. What is? Uh, I don't know what this one is. Let's. This looks like I don't know. This might be the first LA two way ever made. Uh, let's check this one out on the lead vocal, and then I'm gonna add some delay and try this. Uh, what's in this bundle? Oh, the Galaxy Tape Echo. Now, I can already tell immediately this isn't going to work for me. This just has too slow of a uh, release. And I like slower releases, which I expect anyway out of an opto, but this is just too slow. Um, and the way I'll play it again and tell you what I'm watching and, and listening for. So when setting uh, compression and... When setting compression in between phrases, like when she stops, I want the compressor to go back to zero. And I'll play this again and just watch it. And I might be able to tweak this, but I still feel like it's releasing really slow. But I want the compressor to go back to zero before she starts singing again on her next phrase. If not, 
let's say the compressor hits 60 dB of compression and then she stops and then it's slowly releasing and let's say it gets it gets to 3 before she starts singing again well, when she starts singing again you're already at 3 dB compression there and which means it's turned down 3 dB and I don't want that uh, so when you're compressing vocals when the singer rapper stops the phrase like you want the compressor to hit zero uh, so we can start again with that next phrase so watch how slow this release is so you see it's at like negative three negative two when she's stopping i'm gonna try to tweak it and I don't, I don't spend a lot of time tweaking plugins. So, you know, if something's not working for me or I can't dial it in uh, within like a minute, maybe a minute and a half, I'm moving on to another plugin. Like I'm not forcing myself to make one plugin work for me. I know, you know, within 30 seconds to a minute if that plugin is going to work. You see how quickly I said, no, this isn't going to work. But let's try to dial it in and see if we can get it. Nope, that, that, that's too slow. So, uh, is that here? Scratch that. Let's go back with that. Uh, I forgot the first one. We, I think it was the silver. Was the first one. So you can see how this one is getting closer to zero before she starts singing again. And that's what I want. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and grab the gray one too just to compare it real quick and we'll see which one we'll stick with. Yeah, I think we're going to stick with this uh, gray one. So we'll take this one. We'll take the silver one out. All right, let's check out this tape echo. Uh, let's see. Let's remove these sins. And Galaxy tape echo. Let's see what this is talking about. Okay, do not see how to set head select. Oh, is this preset delays? Interesting. Okay, so I guess you can't set the delay manually. It looks like it's preset. Let me take a look at these other settings. Maybe I'm wrong. OK, 
Okay, so we've got a reverb and echo together in this. Let's let me just, let's play this and kind of play around and see what I can get. Uh, bass, okay, bass treble, echo pan. Okay, so no ping pong here. Echo volume, reverb, reverb volume. Okay. It's interesting. I've never used a delay that I couldn't set the delay to exactly what I want it uh, to be. Uh, interesting. All right, let's try to dial this in. Just in a sea of motion Pulling when I push it back You cushion that come forward uh, Must say I've never seen a delay time of 5 by 32 on a delay I mean generally of course you get the quarter note, half note, whole note, eighth note, sixteenth note But 5 by 32 that's interesting I love it when you bring me in closer Pretending that nobody here knows us Don't feel like you and me just in a sea of motion Pulling when I push it back, you cushion that come forward I love it when you bring me in closer Pretending that nobody here knows us Don't feel like you and me just in a sea of motion Pulling when I push it back, you cushion that come forward I love it when you bring me in closer Pretending that nobody here knows us don't feel like you and me just in a sea of motion Pulling when I push it back, you cushion that come forward I love it when you bring me in closer Pretending that nobody here knows us Don't feel like you and me just in a sea of motion Pulling when I push it back, you cushion that come forward I love it when you bring me in closer Pretending that nobody here knows us Don't feel like you and me just in a sea of motion Pulling Yeah, I'm gonna cycle through these one more time, I'm not really hearing I mean, I, I just want a quarter note delay. It shouldn't be uh, <laughs> that hard. But with this pre-selected delay times, this flashing is annoying. Seeing these, uh, well, it's solid there now. I wonder if it's just, okay, yeah, that one's flashing. So why was that one solid? Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to cycle back through these and try to find one I like. I'm not hearing what I want, which is just a simple quarter note uh, delay. I love it when you bring me in closer Pretending that nobody here knows us Don't feel like you and me just in a sea of motion Pulling when I push it back, you cushion that come forward I love it when you bring me in closer Pretending that nobody here knows us Don't feel like you and me just in a sea of motion Pulling when I push it back, you cushion that come forward I love it when you bring me in closer Pretending that nobody here knows us don't feel like you and me just in a sea of motion Pulling when I push it back, you cushion that come forward 
Uh-oh, I think I figured it out here. So this echo rate is changing the, uh, it's for the head here. Okay, so let's see if I can get a uh, quarter note delay here now. I love it when you bring me in closer Pretending that nobody here knows us Don't feel like you and me just in a sea of motion Pulling when I push it back, you cushion that come forward I love it when you bring me in closer Okay, that's giving me what I want. So now the question is, how do I get each head to do uh, what I want? Uh, so I'm going to go back through real quick and see if I can get like a quarter note on head one and like an eighth note on head two. I love it when you bring me in closer Pretending that nobody I love it when you bring me in closer Pretending that nobody here knows us Don't feel like you and me just in a sea of motion Pulling when I push it back, you cushion that come forward I love it when you bring me in closer Okay, we'll roll with that. That's giving me the quarter note uh, that I want. Let's see how it sounds in the mix. Oh good with that this synth here is too loud to me and it's fighting with the vocals uh so i'm going to this is where a good parametric eq would come in because i want to make a dip around the 1k range like a wide dip uh, just to make room for the vocals here but uh sticking with the ua plugins we're just going to grab i'm going to grab 1.6 and just cut some of that and i'm also just going to bring the level down some as well Alright, so there's like that reverb too that was too loud on that. That was making it uh, kind of step on the vocals. Uh, let's, let's see. So like this vocal part, I'm going to try something. We'll see how, I have this, in listening to this, I had this idea. So we'll see if it works or not. But uh, with this part in the verse, I want to take the knee channel strip, which can be really cool for some distortion. Uh, so I'm going to use that to 
kind of create a distorted vocal effect and we'll see how this works it might sound better in my head but in execution might not work so let's find out actually before we get to this vocal part let's tackle this one which is a harmony uh let's unmute that and get that uh dialed in what is this nothing uh, let's get rid of that then okay I'm going to tweak that delay just a little bit more. Uh, I want to hear one more, one more echo on it. I'm good with that. Let's uh, move to that harmony part. Pretending that nobody here knows us. Don't feel like you and me just didn't see a motion. Pulling when I push it back and caution that. Don't feel like you and me just didn't see a motion. All right, let's grab that Neve channel strip again. It's hard for me to find. See, I'm going to go ahead and add the plug-in thumbnail so I can easily see it and grab it each time I'm going for it here. Don't feel like you with me just in a sea of motion. Pulling when I push it back and caution that come forward. I'm actually happy with that. Um, it's, it's a high part, so I'm, I don't need to add any high end to it. I'm going to cut a little bit of low mids and add some reverb to it. Don't feel like you with me, just in a sea of motion. Pulling when I push it back, keep caution that come forward. And just to explain the reason for that, so in taking away a little of the low mids, it's going to make it sound brighter overall because I'm I'm changing the balance of it. I'm taking out some low mids, which is going to make it sound brighter. Therefore, I'm not going to need to add any any high end to it, especially with it already being a a high part, a high harmony part. Okay, it's like we already had reverb on it, so we're good there. Okay, let's move on to this part and see if I can uh, give that that distorted effect that I'm going for, and see if I can make this work. Don't feel like you with me, 
Okay, so that's kind of what I'm going for. Let's drop it in the mix and hear how it sounds. Uh, of course, the most important thing with vocals is to make sure everything that you can understand everything. So what I'm going to do, if I can't understand all the lyrics with it distorted like that, then I'm just going to copy uh, the vocal to another track under it and leave that one untouched to keep that intel intel <laughs> intelligibility there in the vocal and while having that distorted effect kind of sit behind it. So let's try that. Don't feel like you and me just in a sea of motion Pulling when I push it back Keep cushion that come forward Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. So I took the 220 hertz low shelf and brought it all the way down and give it like a high pass filter telephone type effect. Uh, I'm just still going to go ahead and copy another track of the vocal and leave it untouched and just hear how that blends. And Studio One tip here, to quickly duplicate a track if on Mac, I don't know on Windows, but on Mac, if you hold, if you click and hold and then hit option and start to drag down, you'll see it says duplicate track complete, which is going to duplicate the track with the plugins and uh, the event there, which you see that it did. Or if you want to just duplicate the track, uh, you can hold command and it'll just duplicate the track uh, without adding the event there. And also what I'm going to do is, anytime I'm doing any kind of effect or something different with a different region, I like to give it a different color, uh, just so I'll know that that's something different. Like right now, I know all the lead vocals are purple, uh, but I'm just going to give this a, you know, I don't know, let's do orange. And that way I know that something different is going on there. All right, so I'm going to bring up both of these uh, 1073 channel strips, the one on that distorted vocal and then the one we're leaving clean, and uh, just kind of blend these in just so I can have them both up while I blend them.
Okay, I'm, I'm good with that, but now I'm wanting the end phrase here. I'm going to do another delay, and because the same delay settings I have just isn't giving me what I want. So this, I'm going to put a, a separate delay on this orange region here so the reverb tail can echo or delay on into the next phrase when she comes back in. Don't feel like you and me 
I'm li- going to listen to it back from the uh, back from the end of the first verse to hear how it carries from the first verse into the second. I don't know how we can tell. I'm twirling, I'm working on it. I'll do this better. Oh. Actually, I meant to add some volume automation on this one, too. Uh, so bring that down a little bit. Here we go. I don't know how we can tell. I'm twirling, I'm working on you. I don't do this for So 
I'm good with that. This last, uh, this last strong phrase. I really want to let that come out. And the starting of this hook is kind of stepping on top of that. Uh, so what I'm going to do is just a simple fade in. So we're just going to fade, fade in the hook. So that's going to allow the hook to fade in and kind of ramp up. And then that'll leave this part, this strong ending of the second verse to uh, stand out and kind of uh, shine on its own. Queen of love, and she seems enough to risk it all for. All right, not exactly what I want, but it's close. I'm just going to pull the fade uh, back some. Queen of love, and she seems enough to risk it all for Okay, I'm good with that. I'm going to go back and listen to the only part in the song that these strings play, so I want to make sure they're heard and um, just make sure I got those up loud enough. I think I am good with that. So I'm going to play this back from the top and take a listen and see if there's anything that's uh, bugging me. And uh, if anybody got any questions, just go ahead and drop them in the chat. Toast in champagne Let all my problems show up to that 
So I'm, I'm happy with that. That pad sound was still a little too loud. I just pulled that down a little bit. Uh, last thing I'm going to do, so where we had that 1176 on the drum bus, I want to try to swap that for the API bus compressor and see what kind of sound I can get with this on drums. Oh, no. I think I like the 1176 better. I just think I'm getting a little more punch out of it as well. I thought it may have been the makeup game, but even after turning up the makeup game on uh, the API, it's still not giving me uh, what I'm getting out of the 1176 that I'm liking. All right, so that's going to wrap this up. Uh, and one last time, I'm going to drop links, uh, not drink, uh, drop questions uh, in the comments if you want any. Uh, questions answered before we wrap this up again this was k penny i'm gonna have her information in the video description uh so y'all can follow her on uh, instagram and tiktok and also uh be sure to check out my podcast the faders up podcast it's a uh it's a podcast about pro audio and beyond it's on all streaming platforms we talk about everything from music uh from studio gear to um from studio gear to music business to music production just really anything under the, the pro audio and the music umbrella uh we discussed so definitely uh check that out and i guess i like, wrap this up with my, my thoughts on these uad plugins the i love the 1073 i said i'm gonna have to try it against the 1073s i normally use while I love this UAD one, I still can't say right now if I love it enough to continue to pay $20 a month for it. Uh, I mean, the bonus is going to have to give me a little more uh, for that. I really like the plate reverb in here as well. But, uh, again, I've got other plate reverbs that I really like, so I'm going to have to really compare it to that. It's almost like, I don't know, we may say that 
uh, UAD might be too late here with going native, and we'll see how popular this gets. But you know, I've got so many other plugins that does what UA does that it's going to be a hard sell for to get me to invest and continue continue to invest in this. Uh, but I mean, are they worth the hype? Uh, I mean, so far they all sound good. API channel strip feels a little cluttered um, to me, but so far I don't like that I can't resize them, and I don't like that the compressors uh, don't have a side chain. I'm curious if the DSP powered ones have uh, have side chain ability. I don't know if, if maybe that'll come in an update, or if that's something they just mistakenly missed out on here so far uh, well, we will we will find out uh definitely would have liked to have had the pull tech in this bundle uh, hopefully that one comes uh soon uh, but the bundle here isn't bad for twenty dollars i feel i think twenty dollars is a fair price to ask for i think anything over 20 and you're gonna lose people this uh, immediately i'm trying to i think plugin alliance has a pretty expensive bundle or subscription bundle i forget what their price is but um i know it's up there and i think i think kush is like ten dollars a month which isn't bad at all which is really low enough i've been meaning to try that bundle as well so i may um i may do that one too and i'll think about it if, if y'all want me to mix any of your songs um, I'll have my email in the video description of this as well. Just email me, email me the session, and uh, you know I'll take a look at mixing it live on YouTube. Um, I think I put a track limit of like ten or twelve. I forgot what the track limit. I'll copy and paste it, but I'll put it in my previous. I've got other videos where I mix live as well up on YouTube as well. If you want to go back and check those out, but uh, something like this. You know, 19 tracks, uh, that's, you know, that, that's perfect. So as long as there's not too many tracks and as long as I can do it under, I'm trying to see where we're at now. Yeah, we're coming up on about two hours. Yeah, as long as I can get it done oh, within two hours, you know, send it to me and I'll take a look at mixing it here. All right, so I appreciate everyone tuning in. Uh, again, this was a song from Kay Penny, and I'll have her contact info in the show notes once this uploads and wraps up and I'm able to add to it. All right, appreciate y'all uh, tuning in, and uh, I will catch y'all next time.